fact that we haven't heard of the achievements of the Syrian people in this difficult time, organising, self-organising local councils, most of them elected democratically, they're not all perfect, we went to war in the Middle East supposedly a decade ago in order to import democracy and there are people actually doing it, doing it and we don't know about it. Um, the media in general has zoomed out so far, it's focusing on geostrategy and so on, it's doing it often in very inaccurate ways. I think that any examination of what's happening in Syria needs to start by talking to the Syrian people, hearing Syrian voices, what are their motivations, what are their experiences, what are their hopes and fears. Um, and largely the media's failed to do that and therefore I don't think we have a contextualised idea of what's actually happening there. I think sometimes it's better not to have diplomacy if you don't have a strategy. If you have a proper strategy and you can see a way of ending the problem, then you need intensive diplomacy. If you don't have a strategy, it just becomes theatre and it discredits everybody involved. At the moment, um, it's a Russian process. The Russians are leading it. The Russians are also bombing the hell out of the democratic nationalist opposition that you need for any solution. They, the Russians want to choose their own opposition to talk to. They don't want the opposition to choose itself. Um, the Americans seem to be bowing to this, that the presence of transnational Shia jihadists backed by Iran on the front lines in Syria has been normalised. That's OK. That's not something to be talked about at this stage. Uh, this just won't work. This is going to... I think what Russia really aims to do, and which the West is allowing it to do, is to create a situation in which the democratic opposition has been totally destroyed and all that's left is Assad and ISIS. And the Russians think at that stage the whole world will give their wholehearted backing to Russia to win the whole of Syria back for Assad. But that won't happen. It can't happen. I think if it came to a fight between Assad and ISIS, it's quite possible that ISIS would win. Um, I think what's more likely the direction we're going in is a partition of Syria um, but that wouldn't be a permanent solution and it would be a disaster. Firstly, for the Syrians, it would involve an ethnic cleansing on a scale that we haven't seen yet. Um, and you'd end up with these two angry, traumatised states in a permanent state of war. It would be a disaster for everybody's security. But that's the direction we're heading towards with this so-called peace process, which is a pacification process. They're bombing the hell out of the democratic opposition. It's not peace.